The Devereaux Early Childhood Assessment, or DECA, is a nationally standardized, reliable, and valid assessment that helps strengthen social and emotional skills in infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. The DECA is easy to use, research-based, comprehensive, strength-based, and contributes to positive outcomes for young children. Programs can now use the DECA via the web. The Devereaux Center for Resilient Children and Kaplan Early Learning Company bring you the eDECA Assessment and Planning System. This web-based system allows for both teacher and parent ratings to be entered online. It completes all scoring, generates reports, provides strategies for both school and home settings, and stores your data in a secure database. Additionally, we have partnered with Conscious Discipline to bring you their strategies via the Conscious Discipline version of the eDECA so that you can enhance your current practices if using their approach. Curious about how eDECA works? Here's something for starters, our eDECA hierarchy. You'll see at the top there is the program, which could be your organization. Within the program you have your sites, which could be your different schools. Within each site are your groups, which could be the classrooms within each school. Then of course you'd have your children and your staff. All children and staff must be assigned to a site and group within the system. Within this hierarchy there are also different user roles. The program administrator is the highest administrator role, followed by site administrator and group administrator, and there are other user roles as well. It's important to note that not all staff need to be users of the system. Some programs give every teacher a login to do the ratings online, other programs may only have a select group of staff that log into the system and input the ratings for teachers. In addition, users of the eDECA can be set up to only see and do what is appropriate based on their job description. Individuals can be given different user roles and assigned to specific sites and groups so that each user in the system sees only the children appropriate based on their position within the program. Let's take a quick peek at how the eDECA works. I'm going to log into the eDECA into one of our demo programs as a group administrator. You'll see that once I am logged in, the toolbar here at the top is where all of my possible actions can be found. If you get a chance to log into our demo program, be sure to check out all of the guides and video tutorials available under the Help Toolbar option. Okay, so let's go ahead and submit an assessment for a child. I need to go to Input Ratings then by child online. You will see here that there's also an option to access PDFs of the different assessments and print them out. This is useful if staff need or want to fill it out on paper first, and then the answers can be copied to the online form later. It is also useful if a program includes parents and families in the assessment process. Parents are not given logins, so printing a form out for them is a way they can complete an assessment on their child. For this demonstration, however, we're just going to submit a teacher's assessment. So I click on By Child Online, and then I need to find the child I want to assess. I can do so by selecting the site and group he or she is assigned to, or I can type in their last name, which is what I'm going to do. So type in the last name, click on the Go button. Carla is the child that I want to assess, so I'm going to select her name. Then I need to select the record form. Carla is a preschooler, so I need to select the DECA P2 and then click on Submit. The first thing I need to do is select the rater. I'm actually submitting an assessment for Carla's teacher, Trevor Stewart. I then need to select the rating period. This is a mid-assessment. And the rating date, I'm going to select today's date. Moving down to the form, you'll see that I can actually increase or decrease the text size of the form by clicking on the respective letters here at the top. You'll see that I can make it larger, even larger than that. I'm going to just keep it the standard size. I can also change the language of the form to Spanish just by clicking on the word Spanish here for any Spanish speaking staff or parents. I'm going to go back to English and go ahead and complete the form. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to fast forward to my completion of the assessment. 
Okay, so I've completed the form and I actually already saved it. And you can see up here that this reading has been saved successfully, so that's good. Um, and I actually want to look at the scores and the single rating report. So if we scroll down, we'll see the display scores and single rating report button. Let's click on that. The report opens in a new window. And you'll see the single rating report, which is three pages. Page one includes the score summary table, which breaks the scores down into the different scales. The DECA P2 has five scales, including initiative, self-regulation, attachment relationships, the sum of those three scales, total protective factors, and behavioral concerns. For each scale, the summary table provides two standard scores, the T-score and percentile, as well as a description for each score, strength, typical, and need. It also includes some guidance for interpreting the results. Page two of the report is the individual child profile, which is color coded to display the child's strengths in green, typical scores in blue, and areas of need in red. Lastly, page three displays the item ratings by scale. This page lists each scale and the questions pertaining to that scale. And to the right of each question are your chosen responses and the result of those responses. Now that we've submitted an assessment and reviewed the single rating report, let's select some strategies. For this demonstration, we'll be pulling DECA program strategies. For those programs using conscious discipline or interested in conscious discipline, a separate strategy list is available. To get to strategies, we need to go through the assessment we just submitted. So let's go to view ratings and reports by child. Again, I can find the child by selecting the site and group or type in his or her last name, which is what I'm gonna do again. We find Carla, and then I'm going to, to select view all ratings for this child. Once I hit submit, all of the ratings that have ever been done for Carla show up. We wanna find strategies for the assessment we just submitted, so here that is. And we click on strategies, and up comes the strategies selector page. Here you'll see the results again of the assessment we just submitted and scrolling down you'll see all of the DECA program strategies available to choose from. If we go back and look at the results of the assessment you'll see that Carla has an area of need and attachment and relationship. So let's go ahead and pick some strategies for that area. So let's scroll down to attachment and relationships. We need to make sure we select that. And I'm gonna se select two strategies to try with Carla. So I'm gonna select floor play and share a laugh. Since I'm done making my selections, I can scroll all the way down, make just a few more to, to pull my report. I do want to partner with Carla's parents, so I want to keep with selecting the classroom and home strategies. And I just need the report in English. I can either create an HTML, HTML document, which I can copy and paste from onto a letterhead of my own, or I can just pull a PDF, which is what I'm going to do here. It opens in a new window again, and this is our DECA program strategies report. The first page displays the results for Carla's assessment again, as well as some explanation of those results. The second page displays the strategies that I just selected to try out with Carla. Since I selected both classroom and home, we see both listed here. Finally, the third page contains some space for notes, as well as signature lines for teachers and family members to help keep track of progress. Programs should use this report above all else to help promote the child's resilience and support their social and emotional development. With that said, there are plenty of other reports in the eDECA system. How about I show you a few? Here's an example of a group profile report, useful for staff that want to see progress across an entire classroom. This one is a pre-post comparison report, useful for comparing assessment results for an individual child over a school or program year, here is a Rater comparison report, useful if a program wants to compare a teacher's assessment and a parent's assessment of a child. 
There are additional reports available as well as many other capabilities within the eDeca, so feel free to log into our demo program to explore. Before we close out, I just want to quickly share a few other features of the eDeca. First, there are a few ways programs can set up their databases. They can do so manually, of course, but we understand that can be difficult and time-consuming for rather large programs. If a program utilizes ChildPlus, there is a one-way bridge between the two systems. Data pulled from ChildPlus can be imported into the eDeca system, which would basically set up your entire database for you. There's also the option to upload child and staff information via an Excel file. Second. Users with the role of Program Administrator or Site Administrator have the capability to download raw data from the eDeca into Excel spreadsheets. Many eDeca programs use this feature for research and analysis purposes. Third, if there is information you want to include in the eDeca system for identification purposes, programs can establish user-defined fields. An example of this would be if a program wanted to include student IDs in the eDeca system. And finally, within the eDeca, Staff can reflect on their own resilience by utilizing the Devereaux Adult Resilience Survey or the, or the DARS. It's essential for the adults caring for children to take care of themselves too. This feature allows adults to reflect and access strategies to build their own resilience. Thanks for watching this brief overview of the eDeca assessment and planning system. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children at deca at devereaux.org or call toll-free at 1-866-872-4687.